a lot of you remember him. He played with the original Martin Hart, played with Third Time Martin. Well, this is his mom and daughter, Janice and Tabitha. Y'all give them a round of applause. Yeah. Okay, so y'all know for the third year in a row, this COVID has taken our uh, festivals from us, our three festivals that we have in the area, North Moore and, and Star and uh, Always Seagrove. And so Seagrove decided because of the Purdue family to give out an award for bluegrass excellence and uh, dedication. So, you know, Clyde's got a, a name that we probably all know. Clyde, Clyde will tell you something in a heartbeat, but I want to tell y'all something. Clyde has played and knows a lot of people and he's got pictures of everybody there was in the Grand Blue Library. And he loved the music so much that back in 74, he started playing, and it got to be too many people at the house. So they came over here and started playing at the Pottery Barn. Now, I'm not the best one to tell you all this, because I wasn't here with a lot of it, and there's a, a, one or two or three old-timers here that can probably tell us about all the different people that have played here. Uh, and uh, I couldn't even begin to name you all the different bands. Uh, Sandy and Vivian and Pammy. Hey guys, we're very blessed to have three women right here that have done more for North Carolina bluegrass than any three women have ever done. Even if one is my woman, and the other two are my best girlfriends. And I feel honored to be able to have played with both of them. And, um, Both. Yeah, all three of us. <laughs> all four of us have played. I didn't know who you were leaving out. So, yeah, really. so, anyway, let me get back to Clyde. Okay, I gotta get back to Clyde. It's a good idea. So, Clyde loved the music so much that he started playing over here, and in some way or another, he found a way to make it by passing a hat. And you know about how much money he gets yeah, for that. It was a security check. Yeah, <laughs> he's like the rest of us. He play, paid, pays to play, and but think of all the generosity that this man has shared with all of us. Think of all the music that's gone through these walls. Think of all the number of great bands that came to Clyde's for a testing ground back in the day when people used to get together like this on a regular basis and, and not be scared. And, and, and Lord, we just need to pray for everything going on. And I'm telling you, I feel blessed to be in the United States. And I say be with all the people that are getting out of their homes and everything else. And let's keep them in mind. I just can't say it enough. We are so blessed. Okay, so, because of COVID, back in 19, right? <laughs> We didn't have any of our fillers conventions. And they had already given out the first annual Allen Purdue Award to somebody that we love dearly, Bobby Franklin. And I know a lot of y'all know him from Ashburn and was at Denton for years and years, the MC at Denton, and just a fine human being. That's another person we need to pray for. Okay, and then anyway, he was got the first one. So this right here is the second annual Allen Purdue Memorial Bluegrass Music Appreciation Award. <laughs> presented to Clyde Manus from the Seagrove Fillers Convention for March of 21, 2020. So even though it's just been two years, it's actually the third year that we haven't had the bluegrass. And if it wasn't for Clyde, we wouldn't have any right now. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> If you needed a rhythm player at any of the conventions, Alan Purdue was right there and he'd play with you and he knew every song there was and he was a smiling when he did it. And when he was dying, he was a smiling at Big T. And he said, T, I'm not going down without a fight. And I think that's how we all need to be. I'm going to let them present this to Clyde. I, I can't think of how many hours he's dedicated to bluegrass. How many bands have been through here? How many years have you been doing it, Clyde? 47. 47 years. Wow. Wow. And uh, 
uh, not to get a whole lot of reward other than to sit right there and hear some of the best music in the world. Back in uh, 2011, they had a high school come here. Our friend Susan McKenzie Bullock brought a bunch of kids. Uh, they came up here to experience what was going on at Clyde's. Just in the time that I've been coming, the 20 some odd years that I've been coming, uh, I walked into Mark Schatz, and for all of you contemporary bluegrass people, you know he's one of the finest bass players in the world, if not the best. He's playing with Bela Fleck right now in that group. And he was right here at Clyde's. We've had, oh yeah, we've had Hunter wow. Berry come, you know. Uh, I, I, if we started listening to all the people, it'd just be incredible, all the different. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the original Cole story. I mean, that's the uh, father of, of bluegrass gospel, right? That's right. How about you all know? the musicians that came through here? Yeah, gosh, how many people have. Auburn Yeah. Ashley Frank. Yep. Alan. Nathan Aldridge. Yep. Nathan Aldridge. Yep. Nathan, Aldridge is, uh, Nathan couldn't be here tonight. He's going with the uh, third time out, and he's working now. The boy's got an actual job. Don't let it slip that I said that. <laughs> and he's working for a sweeping company where they do, and he wanted me to be sure to tell Clyde, because he loves Clyde, he loves the ability to come play here and the chance to play with some premium people. Matt Hooper. How about Caroline right now? If y'all don't yeah. follow Caroline, you need to be following Caroline. Every one of them. Caroline and company, they're kicking it, and they just play with the oranges. We could go on and on of uh, all the people that have come. Uh, we had somebody come all the way. From, uh, from, what's the name of the island, Pammy? New Caledonia. New Caledonia. New Caledonia. Thanks, Pammy. Second. Second. <laughs> uh, New Caledonia. John Luke LaRoe came all the way. Then we had our friend Renee Redmond from all the way from Idaho. Betty and our friend Betty from Axton driving down here two hours just to come pick up here on the stage. You know, that's the kind of... Uh, dedication that you know none of us could do it if it wasn't for Clyde and, and his desire and he's been through some rough times lately uh, so when they pass the hat tonight y'all be sure and put some money in the hat because they've got to pay for all that stuff and this stuff right here this electricity and all so what else can I say about Clyde that's it we love you <laughs> let's give him another hand yeah. Say something. Yeah, come right here. Come right here where the light is, Clyde. All right, don't fall down out here in front of all these people. Once again, Tabitha and Janice Purdue. Yay! Did you explain this is Alan's mom and I did. Yeah, because you were out there getting your stuff, but this is Alan's mom and daughter again, Janice and Tabitha. And um, so we had an auction for the Purdue family. It was the most amazing thing you've ever seen in one day. How many? Thousands of dollars, if you don't mind telling us, I mean, it was a large amount, wasn't it? 32, yeah. $32,000 in one day. I, I have a lot of stuff. Because of uh, Vivian and Sandy, and I think Jack is supposed to say something. Yeah, I got to say something. All right, Clyde. 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 Clyde.
in his kindergarten class. First time he ever played in front of anybody. So I just want to give the Lord all the praise for that because it all came from him. And, and I thank you for loving him. And he knew it and he loved Bluegrass Baptist. Good gracious, he did. And he loved Mr. Klein Lance. Yeah. He loved him. Yeah. Thank y'all. That's about all I would have to say. Oh, come on. More, more. Been here a long time. Sing a lot of people. How many will I do? Who all will come and who ain't? There's no way of knowing. After 47 years. That's about all I'm saying. All right. Yay! As always, a, a, a fine tradition for all and some of y'all that hadn't come. Uh, there's a big cake back there in the back, and I imagine it's probably some ice cream. Probably if not, there's a big cake I know for sure. Yeah. And so you're welcome to that. And we're gonna get Salt Creek Band up here. They, they're kind of like the house band. Thank you, Sandy Hatley, for helping out all that.